Yes, you. Welcome to the You're Not Getting Any Younger podcast, a podcast for people who want to disrupt their lives for a good reason, to make it count. I'm your host, Jen Glantz, and every week I'll drop a new episode with stories from real people just like you who woke up one morning and decided to make big changes, starting with small things. We'll cover topics like entrepreneurship, love, failure, and self-care. Hey, you're not getting any younger, so let's make this an adventure. Ready? Hey, hey, any youngers, what's going on? It's me, your host, Jen Glantz. (sighs) Can you believe it? We are at a hundred and two episodes. That's burning hot if you take your temperature. Okay, that was super cheesy. I apologize. I'm just so excited because you know what? A lot of people out there, they want to start podcasts. They want to start something. And yeah, starting is usually the hardest part. But in all honesty, continuing it on takes so much effort. I'll be honest with you. There were so many times where I was like, Jen, let's throw in the towel on this podcast. Let's give it up. But I keep it going for two reasons. One, consistency is everything. When you are trying to be a good version of yourself and you're trying to make great things happen in your life, you have to be consistent. You cannot just give up on things. You have to build a routine. And even when there were weeks when I was about to release an episode and had nothing to release and had to sit down with the microphone at 10 p.m. on a Friday and figure it out, I made sure to do it. And honestly, it was hard. It was really, really hard. And throughout the past two years, I've had people email me like, I can't believe you always have a new episode every week. You never miss a week. How do you do it? And the truth is, it's not easy. But you really have to dedicate this to being something that you invest the time in. So maybe rather than me sitting here and watching another episode of a Netflix show that I am dying to continue watching, I take the time to do this show because I'm committed to you and I'm committed to me. And another big reason why I think I keep this show going is obviously for you. It's been incredible meeting meeting listeners in person and hanging out with you all in the You're Not Getting Any Younger Facebook group. I feel like I have this tribe, this community of amazing, incredible people all over the world. Y'all have supported me. You've supported this show. And oh, I'm excited to come at you with a new episode today. So one of the themes we've been doing since the start of the year is a challenge every other week. And this week's challenge is a little bit funky, but it has to do with routines. Because like I said, if you start building routines and you follow through with it, you gain this crazy sense of self-confidence, one that you deserve and one that will carry with you into many different aspects of your life. For example, if you say to yourself, okay, every single morning I'm going to wake up and go to the gym at 7 a.m., and if you do not miss the morning, that becomes part of your routine. And then you begin to have confidence in yourself. You begin to let yourself know, even if other factors in the world fail me, I will not fail myself. The topic of morning routine is often a funny one. You know, you do research on what celebrities and famous people's morning routines are, and it seems a little bit weird. Some people will take a cold shower. Other people will meditate. Some people will journal. To be honest with you, my old morning routine involved me opening my eyes, grabbing my phone, going on Instagram for a very long time, checking my email, and then wishing I could go back to sleep because honestly, I felt like shit. And this has been my morning routine for so, so long. And before I know it, I have wasted 30 minutes, my first 30 minutes of the day, feeling stressed and envious and jealous. These are not things I want to feel, and I'm sure you don't either. And then after I did that, I would rush to get ready for my day. Everything would be hectic. I'd be practically sweating through my chores that I felt like I had to do. And I started to realize, okay, maybe there are some really out there morning routines, but my challenge for you this week and for me too is to adopt two new things into our morning routine and delete two old things. So for example, the two things I'm deleting from my morning routine is one, grabbing my phone in the morning. And the second thing is pushing the snooze button. 
I set alarms like crazy. I have been known to set maybe two, three alarms and just snooze through them all. So those are the two things I'm deleting, picking up my phone and touching the snooze button. Now the two things I'm choosing to add in, they're gonna be a little bit unique and different, but I wanna see if they work for me. Number one, I want to wake up and instantly jump out of bed and dance to a Kesha song. You're probably thinking, what the freaking heck, Jen? But I want to see what it's like to sort of shock my brain, shock my body by instantly opening my eyes, getting out of bed and moving, moving to songs that make me happy. And the second thing I'm adding to my morning routine after I wake up and jump around is taking deep breaths. I want to take 10 deep breaths, the kind of breaths where you feel it throughout your chest and your entire body. So that's my challenge to you. You can do research. You can ask other people. Honestly, start by figuring out what the two things are you want to delete from your routine and the two things are you want to add from your routine. And here's the thing. Let it go. Monday through Friday, do it every day. Build that routine even if you wake up and you do not feel like it. And let's see what happens. Let's see what changes. Let's see how you feel. I am so excited for you and this challenge. Please let me know what you decide to delete, what you decide to add. You can always email me, jenglance at gmail.com. Send me a DM on Instagram at jenglance or talk about it with the other people taking on this challenge this week in the You're Not Getting Any Younger Facebook group. I cannot wait to hear how you mess up your morning in the best possible way. Until next time, all my love, Jen Glance. Hey you, thank you for listening to the You're Not Getting Any Younger podcast. There are hundreds of thousands of pods out there, so thank you for listening to this one. You can find the show notes for this week's episode up on our website, anyyounger.com. Subscribe, rate, and review the You're Not Getting Any Younger podcast on iTunes so that other ears around the world can listen too. Oh, and join our secret You're Not Getting Any Younger Facebook group where over 1,000 people are talking about how to disrupt their lives for a good reason, to make it count. Until next week, all my love, Jen Glantz.